hi guys welcome to my channel it's isn't it here if you're not new welcome back so today's video is going to be really quick and informative so i'm basically going to be showing you 15 natural hair tools that every afro girl afro boy afro kid whatever must have take note must have yes they are so important if you'd like to know what these 15 items are keep watching So the first most important items are combs. Two, three, four, five. So all of these are white tooth combs and they are so important in your natural hair journey, especially when you have to detangle your hair on wash days. Also, there's the Afro peak. This is really important when it comes to styling. Then you also have your precision pattern combs. So for patting my hair, I normally interchange between these two. They are both very good. The second must have tools for every natural uh, brushes. So I have a detangling brush. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing this one because I've been using this since I went natural, like since how many years? <laughs> so yeah, this is one of my favorite brushes. Like I can't do without this brush. Also, I have this one called the paddle brushes. So these are brushes that I basically used to slick my hair back, maybe when I'm trying to create a bun or anything of the sort. So I use these brushes for that. They're all soft bristle brushes. Their bristles are not hard at all, except for this tiny one here, which has two types of bristles. So this is a hard bristle and this is a soft bristle. But I never ever use this one. What do I need to use it for? So this is what I always use. You can see how easily it just moves but look at this yeah so always opt for soft bristle brushes i got this one a long time ago i think i got it for like a thousand five hundred i'm not sure but this one was really cheap i got some 400 naira and then this one was 700 naira i think and this is my edge brush you guys know i'm not a big fan of laying edges but yeah i have this and I just use it once a while. Kaleidoscope actually sends me this and it's a really good edge groomer brush. So if you're big on um, edge controls, definitely get something like this. The bristles are super soft and it's not going to rip your edges out at all. Now at number three, another very important tool for naturals are heat processing caps or plastic caps. Basically those caps you use to condition your hair or when you have like a treatment in your hair so you put those caps on normally this is what i use but i hardly ever use this i actually prefer to use grocery bags so if you're like me you probably have a grocery bag of grocery bags because life is too short to be rinsing shower caps and conditioning caps mm? number four is a very important one i cannot emphasize how important this one is and it's the microfiber towel by now you probably already know that you shouldn't use your regular bath towels to clean your hair because of the particles that your regular bath towel has you know the regular bath towels are like um cotton fibers so those strands tend to stick to your hair when you use them on your hair and because of the absorbent nature of cotton so let me explain that you know in secondary schools for example before you put on your uniforms right you have to wear like a white singlet white innerwear cotton fabric the purpose of the white singlet is to absorb any kind of sweat that your body produces during the day so that white singlet is there and it's like a barrier between the sweats your body is producing and your actual uniforms or shirts or whatever it is you're wearing so it's the exact same thing that cotton fabrics do to your hair so any kind of moisture that is on your hair or any part of your body cotton fabrics tend to absorb them so this is why using cotton fabrics on your hair is a no-no don't do it please either you get a microfiber towel or you get a t-shirt turban like this or you could even use a regular t-shirt so before i got the microfiber towel i used to use a regular t-shirt towel dry my hair but now i have the microfiber towel and then this double-sided t-shirt turban that um my puff cuff farm sent me this 
also works pretty fine it's really comfy you guys have seen it in my previous videos like i tend to use it a lot and another advantage of this one is you could use this side of it or you could use the other side of it too so it means you get double the value for the price of one great stuff another tool that basically every natural needs are sectioning clips or clamps whichever one unless your hair is at TWA stage like grass 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 level then of course you wouldn't be needing any of this but trust me the minute your hair gets even a couple inches past TWA you'd be running to look for these because they are so important so you just use them to section your hair and basically makes styling and anything else you want to do to your hair easy breezy when my hair was a lot shorter i used these but after my hair grew out um they couldn't stay in these anymore so i got these and they've been working really fine i got about six in a pack for 1000 naira and these ones were six in a pack for 750 naira next two we'll be looking at is a fluorosol misting can guys this one i can't even tell you how important this spray can is so this is a spray bottle right but this is a misting can so the difference between these two is that while the spray bottle you know basically brings out water in large drops water just starts to drip down my neck my back and I don't like that feeling this one pops off water in mist and it just comes out in the right amount and goes straight to your hair so there's no room for it to drip down your body or your back so it's like the best thing ever would you really say you are on a natural hair journey if you do not have a pair of scissors or hair shears I don't think so these work fine for when your hair is due a trim you want to trim your hair or you want to cut your whole hair you know big chop again that's allowed cut everything and start afresh it's just hair to grow back and it comes handy when you're trying to open those hair treatments that come in sachets you don't want to be struggling with your teeth so you need this it's like you just need it always keep a pair close to you another important item my hair care asena are uh, scrunches because they're important okay. That's the reason. I like to keep mine in this bag so I don't have to start looking for them all over the house. Show me a natural brother or sister who has never put their hair in a puff. And I can tell you for sure that that hair is not real. Sis, it's crochet. <laughs> I'm joking. But really, what would you really be doing without a puff maker in your hair asena? Like, everybody needs one. Whether it's this puff cuff accessory that I use in making my puff or a shoelace or those wide band scrunchies, whatever it is, everyone needs a puff maker. For those bad hair days when you can't deal with your hair, just throw it up in a high puff and get going. But these ones are super special to me because I even find it easy to sleep in them. Like I never ever sleep with any kind of hair accessories on, but these, uh, I've slept in them so many times and i like the fact that you can wash them because they are not easily breakable and they don't fade or anything and they don't rust either so you can wash them do anything with them they come in quite a number of different sizes i'm going to leave the link to their website where you can make your purchase and i'm also going to include a discount code for you guys to make your purchase right right and if you'd like a demo on how they are used I have a couple of videos on my Instagram page. I'll put the link in the description box as well. I got you both. So item number 11, satin bonnets. These ones, you can't escape it. You definitely need satin bonnets. So all you just have to do is pick a style that is convenient for you to sleep in. And if you'd like to see a satin bonnet try on review, I'll leave a link in the description. How many links now? Are you guys counting? I've lost count though next item is the applicator bottle although i recently started to use this i've come to realize the importance of applicator bottles you know when you have to apply treatment to your scalp directly to your scalp and you want your scalp to know that something is going on applicator bottles are the way to go i got this one for how much again i think 700 or 800 i'm not sure something begin that range no more than one keisha when you get it it's usually sealed at the top so you just snip it open put whatever treatment you want to put in it and apply it to your scalp that's all next up are bobby pins 
I have this funny quote that whatever your head type or texture, if you have bobby pins, if you have bobby pins, you can take over the world. Take it from me. And you know, bobby pins have this bad behavior of always getting missing. I don't know why they do it, like they just disappear on you. So I have a container where I place them. These ones are still here because I haven't used them yet. So the minute I use them, once I'm taking them out of my hair, they're coming right into this place and they're trapped. So they can't go anywhere. Let me know how they'll get missing. Another very important one that I really like so much, especially when it comes to styling, uh, these ponytail bands, these black ponytail bands, they are the best thing for when you want to do like, you know, all those rubber band method hairstyles and everything. They make styling super easy. Now for the last items, uh, not the last, not the last, believe me, okay, go back. When it comes to styling natural hair, there are some things you really shouldn't do without. Rings, cuffs, beads, and gold wires. They are game changers. Like these things can take your hair from zero to hundred. Like even if your hairstyle doesn't look great, like maybe if you feel like, oh, the um, your braids did not align properly, or your bantu knot is facing a different direction, Trust me, once you pop any of these things in your hair, error cancel. Nobody can detect anything. I promise you, it works for me, so I know what I'm saying. <laughs> and to wrap it all up, guys, the last item on my list are head wraps. And as much as I might come across as the one who always has her hair on fleek, guys, everyone, every single person always has a bad hair day, whether they want to admit it or not. There are days when even if you styled your hair the previous day, you wake up the next morning and you're like, this is not me. I'm not going out like this. And if you're pressed for time, you don't have the time to start doing anything else to your hair. Head wraps come in handy. And I'm not even going to lie. I have a ton of head wraps. This is one. There's another one. There's another one. And another one. Basically, just have them in as many different colors as you can because you definitely need them, trust me. Thing is, amongst all of these head wraps, this one happens to be my favorite, guess why? <laughs> it's satin lined and it comes pre, what, what, what would I call it? It comes pre-wrapped, not pre-wrapped, wrapped. I do have a video on it that's going to be linked in the description box and also at the end screen of this video so definitely check it out thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and leave me a comment to let me know which of these tools you already have and the ones you have that i did not mention here bye guys i'll see you in the next one